What are the basic logic gates that are present? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community and I'm making engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What are the basic logic gates that are present? Well, what's one out? So, there are a number of logic gates that are present. So, the first logic gate that we'd be seeing is an AND gate. So, an AND gate is represented like this. This is an AND gate. It would have two inputs over here and it would have one output over here. So, if this input is A and if this input is B, then we get an output C is equal to A dot B. This is simply what you refer to as an AND gate. Let us now draw the truth table of an AND gate. So here we have two inputs A and B and the output C. So here let us assume that first we give both zeros as input. That is both these inputs are zero. In such kind of a case the output C is equal to zero dot zero which is zero. Next, let us assume that here we have a is equal to 0 and this b is equal to 1. So here we are giving 0 and 1 here. So when we give 0 and 1, the output c is equal to 0 dot 1, which is nothing but 0. Now, let us assume that here we are giving a as 1 and b as 0. Here, if this is 1 and this is 0, we get the output c is equal to 1 dot 0, which is nothing but 0. And finally, let us give both these inputs as 1. Here we have 1 and 1. That is, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1. So therefore, c is equal to 1 dot 1, which is nothing but 1. This is the truth table of an AND gate. So this is the first logic gate, what you refer to as an AND gate. That is a particular logic gate that performs the AND operation. So now the next logic gate is what you refer to as an OR gate. So an OR gate is represented like this. This is how you represent an OR gate. Here it will have two inputs over here, say a and b and here it will have one output c which performs the operation c is equal to a or b. So now here let us draw the truth table of this particular or gate. So here we have the two inputs a and b and let this be the output c. So now here let us assume that both these inputs are zero. So if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0, then we'd get the output c is equal to 0 plus 0, which is nothing but 0. Next, let us assume that we have a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. So if this is 0 and this is 1, the output c is equal to 0 plus 1, which is nothing but 1. Now, let us assume that we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0. So therefore, here we have 1 plus 0, which is nothing but 1. And finally, let's assume that both these inputs are 1. So, if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1, c is equal to 1 plus 1. So, binary addition or binary or function of 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1. So this is the true table of the OR logic gate. Now, next, next we have the NOT gate. The NOT gate is very simple. It's basically an inverter. So here, a NOT gate is represented like this. Here, it will have one input, say A, and one output, B. And this B is nothing but the invert or the complement of this particular input. So let us draw the truth table. So here, if the input A, if this particular input A is 1, then the output B is equal to 0. And now if this particular input A is 0, then this particular output B is 1. So this is the truth table of the NOT gate. Next we have another interesting gate which you refer to as a NAND gate. A NAND gate is nothing but the inverse or the complement of an AND gate. So here the NAND gate is a combination of AND gate plus the NOT gate. 
When these two gates are combined together, we get a NAND gate. Let me get that simple for you. So, we know for a fact that an AND gate is represented like this. And now here, along with this AND operation, we also perform the NOT operation. So therefore, we have this. So therefore, here we would have two inputs like this, say, A and B. And now here we would have an output C. And this C is nothing but the AND operation, A dot B, and then the NOT operation, that is the whole complement. So now let us see the truth table of this particular NAND gate. Let us say, take the inputs A and B over here. And here let us take the output, say C. So first case, let us assume that both these inputs are zero. So now here, when both these inputs are zero, zero into zero, that is we have C is equal to zero into zero complement. That is, here we have zero into zero is nothing but zero. So zero complement is nothing but one. So here we would have one. Next we would have, let us take A as zero and B as one. So we would have C is equal to zero dot one complement. That is, 0 dot 1 is 0, so 0 complement is nothing but 1. Next, let us take, say, 1, 0 like this. So, if this is 1 and this is 0, we would have the output C is equal to 1 dot 0, the whole complement. But 1 dot 0 is nothing but 0, so 0 complement is nothing but 1. Finally, when both the inputs are 1, we would have C is equal to 1 dot 1 the whole complement which is equal to 1 dot 1 is 1 so 1 complement which is equal to 0. This is the truth table of a particular NAND gate. So similarly just like how we have constructed a NAND gate we can also have a NOR gate. A NOR gate is basically the combination of an OR gate and a NOT gate. So next we have a NOR gate. A NOR gate is basically a combination of an OR gate and a NOT gate. So let me get that simple for you. First let us take an OR gate like this. So this is an OR gate. And now here this is a combination of an OR gate and a NOT gate. So here we would have a NOT application. So we have two inputs like this, A and B, and here we would have an output C, which is equal to A or B, the whole complement. So now let us draw the truth table. So here let us take the inputs A and B, and here let us take the output C. So now here, when both these inputs are zero, when both these inputs are zero, we get C is equal to zero plus zero, the whole complement, which is equal to zero plus zero is zero, which is zero complement, which is equal to one. Next, let us take, say, A is equal to zero and B is equal to one. When this is the case, then C is equal to zero plus one, the whole complement, which is equal to zero plus one is nothing but one. So this is one complement, is equal to 0. Next we have say 1 and 0 here. So when the inputs are 1 and 0 we would have C is equal to 1 plus 0 the whole complement which is equal to 1 complement is equal to 0. And finally when we have both the inputs 1 we have C is equal to 1 plus 1 the whole complement that is 1 complement which is 0. This is the truth table of a NOR gate. And finally, we have another gate referred to as exclusive OR gate or the XOR gate. This is the XOR gate or the exclusive OR gate. So here, the exclusive OR gate is represented like this. This is how you represent an exclusive OR gate. Here it would have two inputs, say A and B, and here it would have an output, say C. This is basically the same operation of an OR gate, but here with a difference, a slight difference is there. So now here, let us take the conditions. So like we have four conditions, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So these are the four input conditions. So first when the two inputs are 0, 0 and 0, we have C is equal to A exclusive OR B. This is how we represent exclusive OR. So here we have C is equal to A exclusive OR B. 
So when the two inputs are zero, we have zero exclusive or zero, which is equal to zero. Next, we have when the inputs are zero and one, we have zero exclusive or one, which is one. Now here, when the inputs are one, zero, we have C is equal to one exclusive or zero, which is one. Now is the important part. Finally, when we have two inputs as one, that is one and one, when these two inputs are one, then C is equal to one exclusive or one. So therefore, when there are two ones together, and when they're taken as exclusive or with each other, it becomes zero. So here, this is zero. This is the function of exclusive or. So this is the basic truth table of an exclusive or logic gate. These does are the basic logic is that we can use for the purpose of performing certain logical operations. As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what I refer to as the basic logic gates that are present. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting the subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.